So you're thinking about moving to Salem, Oregon, but haven't decided if this is the right area for you? Well, you're in the right place because today I'm talking about my favorite things about living here in the Willamette Valley. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so you can be the first to know when I release new content and you'll stay updated on all things Salem, Oregon. My name is Ryan Welty and I'm a real estate agent with Windermere Pacific West Properties here in Salem. I love helping people just like you who are thinking of moving to the Willamette Valley. Whether you're thinking of moving in 10 days or 100 days, feel free to call, text, or email me. I'd be happy to help you make a smooth move to Salem, Oregon. Let's get into my first reason that I love living here in Salem, Oregon, which is my family. I've lived here my entire life. I grew up here. Um, my parents and all my siblings still live here. Um, I met my wife here and all of her family still lives in the area. So that really is the reason that we're here. And that's the reason we love living in the Willamette Valley. For you guys, uh, my next reason is the location. I've always felt that Salem is in the middle of everything. Um, it's in the middle of the Willamette Valley, which gives you easy access to Portland and Eugene. Salem's not the biggest city, it's actually the third biggest city here in Oregon, despite being the capital. So it has a lot of amenities, but if it doesn't have what you're looking for, you can always go up to Portland and find more of that luxury experience. If you like football, you can go down to Corvallis for OSU or to Eugene to UOO if you're looking for a college football game. And there's going to be pro sports and concerts up in Portland. Another thing we love about Salem, Oregon is how close it is to get to the coast, which is about an hour to get to Lincoln City here from Salem, depending on where you're at, of course. But it's nice to go over there for just a day trip or longer. My next topic is really related to this one, which is the outdoor lifestyle of the Pacific Northwest and Salem. I find here that the people that live here really like to spend time outdoors and do a lot of outdoors activities. As you can see, I'm here in a park. Um, this is Riverfront Park. It's connected to downtown Salem. And that bridge behind me is actually a bridge that connects this park to a, a bigger park called Minto Brown Park. These parks have lots of trails for walking, running, or biking. And it's really a nice place to hang out or do a day trip. Um, the Minto Brown Park has places to kayak and fish. And so there's lots of recreation activities just here in Salem. Of course, if you want to go a little farther out and get more extreme, you can go into the coastal range or the Cascade Mountain range, and you can do a lot of hikes, backpacking, camping. There's just endless possibilities for the wilderness around here for what you want to do. Back in Salem, if you have a hobby, I bet there's a group of people here that have that same hobby as you. There's a lot of clubs here that meet regularly. I know there's clubs that go running, biking, mountain biking, there's even a club that goes rowing on the Willamette River if you're into that. A more local spot I want to highlight is going to be Silver Creek Falls or Silver Falls State Park, which is just 20 minutes outside of Salem. This state park has a lot of things to offer for people that are looking to do some outdoor recreation. Their most popular is probably the Trail of Ten Falls, which is a seven or eight mile loop where you go past ten stunning waterfalls. And there's also several waterfalls that are right off the road if you don't want to do a hike quite that long. Also at Silver Creek Falls, you can go off the main trail and there's lots of side trails you can go on where you'll find a few less people. If you're looking for something other than hiking, there's a paved bike path. There's also some single track mountain biking path and there's areas to ride horses. There's areas for swimming and there's lots of areas to go camping too. If you're planning on doing an overnight camping trip, always reserve ahead of time because it's always full and hard to get in. Okay, moving on here, let's talk about food. Everyone loves to eat and we are no exception here. The West Coast, I feel, has a foodie vibe and that really is a thing here in Salem. We have a lot of nice restaurants, but I'll just highlight a few of my favorites. I will mention one of the downfalls of Salem is we don't have a bunch of fancy black tie restaurants. One of the nicest restaurants in town is Da Vinci's. My wife and I like to go there on our date nights, um, usually our special date nights on our anniversary maybe. It's a nice restaurant. Their menu changes constantly because they only use fresh local ingredients. The Willamette Valley here is, has a wide variety of crops and they use as many local ingredients as possible. So if you're looking for a nice classy restaurant, I recommend trying them out. The most frequented by my wife and I is gonna be Gambaretti's. Gambaretti's is a nice Italian restaurant in Pringle Park Plaza, which is on the edge of downtown Salem. Um, my wife and I go there frequently for date nights. It's actually where I took her on our first date while we were dating, so that's kind of fun. 
It has a great menu. One of my favorite things to eat there is the baked Italian or the chicken parmesan. Those are all good options. I've tried most of their menu and I've yet to be disappointed. They have fresh pasta made every day by hand. I recommend staying outside on their patio if you're there in the summer evening. If it gets a little chilly, they have little propane heaters to turn on for you. Another restaurant here in Salem is Bowen Vine that we really like. It's a gourmet burger bar. I always thought that you can't change a burger too much, but I went to this place and they proved me wrong. They have great food besides burgers. They have really good tots and a generous portion of fries and lots of different dipping sauces to choose from. They have a menu and you just get to pick whatever you want off of it for dipping sauces. My wife's favorite, she orders their classic, the Pitmaster, which has a beef burger with ham, bacon, um, onion straws, and they have cheese grilled onto the bun, which is really delicious. They do a burger of the month, and that's usually what I choose. But if you're going for your first time, I'd suggest the Pitmaster. If you're looking for a fun breakfast spot, I'd try with word of mouth. It's a cute little house in central Salem, and you really get packed in there like sardines, but it's very popular, and they have a very unique menu. They have large cinnamon rolls, and if you follow them on any social media, you'll probably see their creme brulee French toast. It's definitely a sugary breakfast. They they have other options like omelets and a corned beef hash, which is really good. I don't recommend going on a Saturday morning. It gets really crowded and you can get a pretty long wait time. If you're there early in the day or during the week, you should be pretty good. Okay, the last restaurant we're gonna talk about is The Yard. The Yard is really a bunch of restaurants and I love this place because if you don't know what you want, you should go to The Yard. It's a central building with a bunch of um, picnic tables in it for communal eating. And then around it is a bunch of food trucks. They usually have between 15 and 20. Anything you want, they probably have it there. It's a great place to meet a group of friends because they have so many different options and it's pretty affordable too. Okay, my next topic might sound kind of funny to most, but I really love the weather here in Salem. Oregon really gets a bad rap and a lot of people think we're just raining all day long and it's really dark and depressing here. But I find that our weather is quite pleasant um, we're on the 45th parallel and we get really even seasons here. So we'll get three months of every single season and they're all beautiful in my opinion. Our seasons are really mild so our winters don't get really cold. We only get snow maybe one or two times a year and it melts off within a week. In the summers we don't get over 100 very often. Um, my favorite season is the fall and it's pretty dry in the fall and all of our leaves change color and drop and it, you get a lot of nice cool crisp days. The springs are kind of rainy. I always dress with a sweater and a rain jacket. Uh, we don't use umbrellas here. I don't know why, we just like suffering. <laughs> I'm gonna throw some grass up on the screen. These are just showing averages for temperature averages for some seasons. Um, feel free to pause if you wanna look at them more or I'll also put the link to the website in the description where you can play around with it. It's actually public use data and you can put in any weather station around you and get data for anywhere you're looking. I always use airports because they tend to have good long-term data. Okay, our last topic here for the day is gonna be the size of Salem. As I mentioned earlier, Salem's the third largest city in Oregon, but it, really Oregon only has one big city and that's Portland and the metro area around it. So Salem really has this small town feel despite being the capital. Life here isn't that fast paced and we don't have the hustle and bustle of a big city. So if that's something you're looking for, maybe you wanna consider the Portland area more, but me, myself, I like living here in the slower area. We are a big enough city where we have some nice amenities, like we have all the major chains of grocery stores. Um, so all that kind of stuff is available, but we kind of lack in the luxury shopping retail experience. But again, that's probably 35 to 40 minutes away, depending on where you want to go. Salem just is a nice city to go to. Our downtown area is fun. Um, it's a historical area, so you're going to find a lot of brick buildings and none of the buildings are that tall. They're all probably five to eight stories. The tallest building in the downtown area is actually 11 stories tall, so pretty short. The downtown area is historic and quaint. It has some historic buildings that are still in use. Um, most notably is gonna be the Reed Opera House and the Elsinore Theater. The Reed Opera House has lots of little stores in it um, that aren't original, but the main structure is there, so it's kind of fun to walk around and see what it used to look like. I want to thank you for watching my YouTube video. Um, I hope you found some useful information here about Salem, Oregon. If you want to get more content about Salem, Oregon, stay tuned to my channel as I release new videos in the future. If you have any questions or comments or any topics you want me to cover in the future, 
feel free to leave those in the comments and I'll talk about them in a future video. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you next time.